Hey friends, it's Marie at Living Felt and I want to take a quick minute to show you how to install a zipper onto your felted items. So this is a pillow we worked on together recently. We needle felted the face and for mine, at least on this one, I used a fabric backing. You could use felt to felt or felt to fabric, but I'm going to show you how to insert a nice clean zipper with your sewing machine. So let's jump into that. Here are the supplies we need to install our zipper. You can use straight pins or wonder clips as you like. I suggest at least a straight pin or two for around the tab of the zipper. We're using nylon coil zippers. We included in our kit a red nylon coil zipper. This is just a gray, so just get the color that you like to go with your pillow. And I do like to have a, the zipper longer than I need so I can cut it to a custom length rather than being bound by the length of that zipper. Our zipper is going to be installed on this right hand margin. I'm going to be using my red zipper and it's going to be about like this. So I do like to control that size. It's going to be somewhat hidden, but you will see the color. So choose a color that matches your pillow fabric and face. And then I'm going to be using red thread to match the zipper and you'll see some on the pillow but that doesn't bother me at all i think that that is a fun part of the design so i'm going to use a red zipper and a red thread you'll also want a measuring device some kind of ruler and some scissors i've prepared my fabric by steam pressing the design on both sides this side and that side and then i went back and needle felted any little bits that were sticking up and then i steam pressed it again what you will see is your fabric has shrunk slightly from the original dimensions. Just by putting all this wool on there, it's pulled in the felt a little bit. So you may want to shore up the exact shape of this fabric once you have the final size of this one. So I've cut out this fabric, which will be my backing, and I steam pressed it as well. If you're going to be doing a pillow that can hold up to the washing machine and you plan to throw it in the washing machine, make sure to wash and dry this fabric first and then steam press it before moving on to the next step. Now we want to put our fabric pieces right sides together and along the edge where the zipper is going to be installed we're going to mark where our zipper goes. We're going to be doing a half inch seam and we're going to come in off the edge two and a half inches. So make a mark two and a half inches up and two and a half inches down. Next we're going to go to our machine and we're going to stitch from this line to this line in a regular stitch. We're going to stitch a long stitch, like a basting stitch here, and we're going to stitch a regular stitch here. But first, let's pin it into place. I'm going to use my Wonder Clips. We've marked this line here where our basting stitch is going to go. So we're going to do a straight stitch on a half inch in down to this mark. The first thing you want to do is always a back stitch. So now down to this point, back stitch again. And then from this line down, we're going to do a basting stitch. So we're going to change our stitch length. Now change your stitch length to the longest length possible. your 
your stitch length to its original position, minus 2.5, and can When you get to the end, remember to backstitch. Now we're going to press the seam open. I've marked my lines where in between where we marked our lines originally and the basting stitches in between here. So this is going to be where our zipper is active. And we're going to have a two and a half inch, we're going to have an inch, half inch margin and two and a half inch buffer. So we want to center the top of our pull or that pull stop underneath that line. You're going to have some fabric sticking up and put the zipper teeth right in the middle of that seam. Just keep your zipper centered and pin it at a few places. Now at the bottom here, I put clips so I know where to stop. I know where I'm going to stop and come across the other side of the zipper. So let's stitch this in place. So the first thing we're going to do is put on our zipper foot. I'm putting mine in the left position and we're going to start stitching from the bottom of the pool. So this is where the top tab is. We're going to start stitching from the bottom. Now my line is right here. It's on the opposite side of this little tab. So I just marked it so I know where that basting stitch begins, which is right at that line. And we're going to start stitching right at that line. The other thing I should mention is it is easier once you figure out which side of your zipper you're going to start, like where the bottom of the zipper is. If your pin heads are facing you, whatever direction you're moving the fabric. So my zipper foot is right butted up against the teeth of your zipper. If you haven't sewn with a zipper foot before, you might just practice on a straight piece of fabric um, and that way you can just rip it out if it doesn't work, but it's fun just to practice anyway. Now I'm going to scoot my zipper pull out of the way. So my needle is down. Okay, just past the pull stop, you're going to put your needle down and lift your presser foot up and then spin your fabric, just like that. Rotate your fabric towards you.
and just across the teeth so you come just across the teeth put your needle back down lift your presser foot again and spin your fabric around and lower your presser foot so here we're just going to hold our fabric into place as we go down and get to get to until we get to the zipper pull So this is a little trick I learned. You can find something to wedge in there uh, and grab your zipper pull because it's not, it might not be so easy to get to. And you can use the seam ripper and pull it up out of the way. Until you go past, you want to go past your needle point. Okay, so we're stopping where we stopped last time and we're where we began right here and we're going to just spin our fabric around again and I'm going to forward and back stitch. If you have pinking shears, cut off your zipper below where you made your mark. And then we're going to open this right here with the seam ripper. So pull out all your little threads and tidy it up. Make sure before you stitch your remaining sides that you open the zipper a little bit so that you can turn your pillow inside out, at least so you can grab the zipper pull. Remember to put your regular presser foot back on. And if you haven't sewn with me before, this little blue tape just helps me keep my fabric straight. You may not need it, but I learned this tip from Nicole Fastbinder and I just love it. Okay, so we're just gonna sew straight down and off each side, remembering to backstitch.
Just for good measure, trim up all your threads. Now we're going to trim all of our corners just to make it a little less bulky. So now let's turn our pillowcase inside out. Hook your corners out really well, and if you have challenges, you can use something like a like a knitting needle or something not too not too pointy. You don't want to use scissors because you'll poke a hole. Now he's ready to stuff. It's okay if your pillow is a little bigger than your pillowcase. You probably have at least an inch that you can work with and that'll make your pillow look really, really full. And I'm gonna stuff mine. That is it, y'all. I hope that this was easy to follow. Please let me know if it was helpful. Leave your comments below if you liked it. We hope you give us a thumb and subscribe. We have lots more videos on felting, needle felting, and wet felting on our YouTube channel. So I hope you'll check those out. And thanks for spending these few minutes with us. I hope you have a great day.